Hi, mm -hmm. Jen and Casey here. We're here with Fusion Pilates Online, and today we're looking at body braille, and we're using Swan on the Cadillac. So the Cadillac is such an amazing piece of equipment because it gives you so many visual alignment cues, right? You have your uprights here, you have the, the, um, the platform that you can really organize yourself with. So not only for the teacher to be kind of looking at the alignment on the Cadillac, but it also gives the client lots of good visual alignment cues. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And all these things hanging, the springs and things to press into, give us a lot of closed chain yes. um, exercises that help to really create lots of support and stability. So let's have Casey go on to her belly. The forehead's gonna be at the towel and the heels of the hands are going to be at the bar. So first one I want to do is just look at how her scapula are moving. So we're just going to do a shrugging of the scapula up into the ears and then down the back. Long deep exhale, thinking about reaching through the crown of the head and the toes. Deep inhale, just having these slippery bars of soap reaching up and back down and just doing a few more. And what I want Casey to really focus on is pressing the heel of her hand fully into the wooden bar, especially at her thumb side. Good. And last one, deep inhale. The hip points in the pubic bone are reaching into the mat and the tail is elongating. Good, now keeping the shoulder blades into the back pockets and the arms long, from here on her inhale, I want her to reach her mid back through her sternum. So her eyes and chest are gonna lift and the bar comes in towards her. Good. Taking a deep inhale here and then on the exhale, deepening the abdominals to come down. Great, and what I'm picking up, and this is so subtle, but there's more falling off, more um, weight into her right hand arm, and then in relationship, the right side of the body. So I want her to give a little bit more focus to the left side of her body. So take a deep inhale, and exhale so she can use that hand into the bar. She can find that weight just a tiny bit more into the left side of her pelvis. There you go, good. Deep inhale, pulling the belly into the front of the spine, and then exhale, deepening the belly to come back down. Lovely. All right, so we're gonna show a modification. Um, if people are really compressing in the lumbar spine, you can put a little blanket under their pelvis. Casey doesn't necessarily need this, but we're gonna go ahead and show it. Okay. So just a little something under the pelvis to help open up the lumbar spine. And then you can use this overball right at the, um, the bottom of the chest. Okay. Good, so she's gonna find all that same alignment on the Cadillac with her hands onto the bar. Good, really reaching into the thumb side of the heel of the hand. The arms are long, she's connected into her mid back. On her inhale, the mid back is gonna reach through the sternum, the bar comes in. So she has this tactile feedback of the overball to reach into and she can continue to reach into the ball to bring herself a little bit up, lengthening in the lumbar spine, good. And then on the exhale, slowly coming down. And even when you come down, Casey, keep the weight into the left side of your body, good. And last one, deep inhale. And exhale, good. Take another deep inhale. And then exhale, finding center, just a little bit. That's good, what you have is perfect. All right, and so that overball lends itself to a really nice transition into this high arc. It gives you a little bit of support so people are able to organize with a little bit more length in the lumbar spine, heavy tail. And once you're finished, it's really nice to bring them into a child's pose stretch. So she's gonna take her hands off the bar and gently sit back into child's pose. Very good mm -hmm. job. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you again soon. Bye.